Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the first episode of a new series on the channel called Mathic the Gathering. This is a series for players who like to crunch numbers and see past the marketing hype to what the real deal is in the magic market. Today we are going to examine the true value of masterpieces, lottery cards, whatever you want to call them. They have been a controversial topic ever since they premiered in Battle for Zendikar, but they have also been very successful in driving sales of booster packs. But, should players invest in more booster packs to attempt to hit one of these cards, or are they giving into the release of endorphins that occur whenever us humans take a risk? Let's start out by looking at the odds of hitting a masterpiece in Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gatewatch, Kaladesh, or Aether Revolt. For the four sets I mentioned, the odds of finding a masterpiece is 1 in 2,160 cards. That translates into 1 in 144 booster packs or one in every four booster boxes. Now, Wizards did something very quietly with the latest release, Amonkhet. They changed the odds of finding masterpieces. The odds are printed on the pack, and you may notice this if you look very closely, but it is now slightly easier to pull a masterpiece than it was in previous sets. Due to the controversial nature of these cards, Wizards may have thought it best not to mention the change in any articles or forums, but it has occurred nonetheless. The odds are now 1 in 1,935 cards, or 1 in every 129 booster packs. This translates to 1 in every 3.58 booster boxes, which means 1 in every 3 boxes and 21 packs should include one of these invocations. Ultimately, that means on average it would take you 15 less packs to open a masterpiece compared to previous sets that contain them. The question is, will that affect the value of these rare cards? Let's compare the different masterpiece series sets and see if we can find a trend. The Zendikar and Kaladesh masterpiece series sets currently have more cards than Amonkhet since Hour of Devastation has not been released yet, but we'll get around that by looking at average values. Let's start with Zendikar Expeditions, found in Battle for Zendikar and Oath of the Gatewatch. There's a wide range of values, but the average value of an expedition is $71.24. Alright, how about Kaladesh Inventions, found in Kaladesh and Aether Revolt? Again, you'll find a wide range of values depending on the card you pull, but on average, the value will be around $57.93. Now for Amonkhet Invocations. Average value comes to $45.19. This is very low due to the fact that the set was released only a few days ago. As more packs are open, you can expect the average value to go down. The other Masterpiece cards are still trending downwards, but at a much lower rate since those markets have already had time to stabilize. Here's a comparison of the three subsets. Now it is possible that the decreased value of Amonkhet Masterpieces is due to more factors than just the increased inventory. Lukewarm player reaction to the design of the cards as well as the playability many of the cards play a role. The question is, is hitting a $45 card enough for you to want to crack additional packs of Amonkhet? If the answer is no, we may see a decrease in sales for this set during its lifespan. This also brings up the question, is it a good idea to crack additional boosters to try to find Masterpiece cards? There is definitely a gambling element to these cards, which may make a great topic for another video, but today let's dig a little deeper. There are some drastically high and low end cards in all of these sets, so let's remove the highest and lowest value cards from the equation and see what we get. Let's start with Expeditions. If we remove the lowest and highest cards from the average, we'd be taking away Smoldering Marsh at $23.75 and Scalding Tarn at $212.26. This brings the average value down $2.18 to $69.06. .06. For Kaladesh Inventions, it would be Black Vice at $21.28 and Chalice of the Void at $184.99. Average value would decrease by $1.73 to $56.20. Finally, let's do the same for the Amonkhet Invocations. Divert will be taken away at $19.50 and Force of Will at $205.38. This reduces the average by $4.80 to $40.39. Let's compare these new averages. The disparity of the Amonkhet invocations gets even worse when we take away the big value card Force of Will out of the average. Ultimately though, we want to ask the question, does it make sense to change your booster pack buying habits since these cards are out there? Now keep in mind these numbers as we examine how much it would cost you on average to hunt for one of these cards. 
For all the sets prior to Amiket, you are looking at picking up about 144 packs. If you pay retail price, that comes to $3.99 a pack for a total of $574.56. Keep in mind the average value of Expeditions is $71.24 and Inventions are $57.93. Even if you got a good deal and picked up a cheap booster box at about $90, you'd still be paying about $250 a pack and opening 144 packs would cost you $360. Granted, there are other cards you would be opening, but the value still does not come close to what you would be spending. Let's see how Amiket compares. On average, you'd be cracking 129 packs to get to a masterpiece. At retail price, that comes to $514.71 to hit a card that has an average value of $40 to $45 currently. Again, even if you can find a good deal and pick up boxes at about $90, it's still $250 a piece per booster pack, and you're still spending $322.50. For far less than that, you can pick up the most expensive invocation in the set, Force of Will. Currently, that card will only cost you a little over $200. At the end of the day, there is a certain thrill that comes with opening packs, and because we are dealing with probability, it is possible to hit that force of will in pack one. That is the thrill we are all chasing, but remember, when you gamble, the house always wins in the end, and this form of gambling is no different. Remember, whenever possible, buy singles of the cards you are looking to pick up. This is especially true for these masterpieces. I hope you found the information helpful. Hey, check out our Patreon page and our Amazon affiliate store through the links below in the description. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give us a like and a subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.